Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again. I've got a video reaction now to the Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer. I have not seen it. I uh, woke up a couple of hours ago and I thought, oh yeah, that trailer came out last night. Probably should watch it and do a reaction to it. Um, don't know anything about it. Uh, I haven't got anything spoiled for me yet, thankfully, for the trailer. So I'm about to jump in, watch it for the first time, and then give you my thoughts afterwards and have a bit of a discussion about it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. They are heartless. So it's a CG trailer? Okay. Not gameplay. Should have expected this. Well, there's no Odyssey CG trailer. So already better. Godless barbarians. I mean, I love Norse anything, so... I do love just the the vibe and tone of anything Viking, really. Not not Assassin's Creed related, just in general. God of War, show Vikings, obviously. Skyrim had its the Norse style to it. They will understand. Um, the Anglo-Saxons against the Vikings. Oh shit. So we're talking warfare here, yeah? We're talking serious warfare in this game. Well, I know there's fortress assaults and like, and there's a lot that goes into like holding fortresses and building a brotherhood as well, from what I understand. So. If that axe doesn't come back to him, this game sucks. The Vikings are getting fucked up. Now, one thing I said about this game is it better have fucking assassins in it, because it's been a while since we've had a fucking assassin in the game. So I'm not a big fan so far that there's no assassins. There's a guy in a hood, what's going on? There's a guy in a hood. Hey, man. Oh, there's an eagle of some kind. What the fuck does that even mean? You can see how they're translating the RPG elements into this trailer right now. Big, big bads, big bosses in the middle of a, like a, what would be like an Odyssey, the big battle scenarios. And I'm kind of like, uh, uh. There's no point to them in Odyssey. Oh, he's got a hidden blade. It's about fucking time. We got a hidden blade. Holy fuck. It's about time. Why does he have a hidden blade in a Viking army? Are you uh, an assassin or are you just a dude? Is that... Okay. Is there... Wait, did they show a release date for that? Holiday 2020. So it'll come out on next gen. When the Xbox Series X comes out. Okay, so here's the thing. I need to see that hooded guy again. It says Odin is with us, which is like, okay, whatever. So this stuff... So there's just a guy in a hood. So let me... And it looks like an old dude. Um, so I feel like... This main character um, that we see in this trailer, he 
obviously he's come into contact with assassins. At some point, he's come into contact with assassins. He's not an assassin by the looks of it. He has a hidden blade, but he's a, a Viking fighting in a Viking army against the Anglo-Saxons. Um, but he's not an assassin. Which is all I really want out of an Assassin's Creed game, is to play as an assassin. Uh, and I don't feel like that's too much to ask. I don't think it's a lot to ask when you play Assassin's Creed to play as an assassin. It's been a fucking while. Um, so that'd be helpful, personally, for me to do that, for that to happen. Now, what I'm gathering from this is that he's got some sort of connection with the assassins. Why has the hidden blade? Why, when he sees this old man, he thinks God's with him. So they're trying to connect, obviously... The Vikings have their own mythology, religions, and beliefs. So that's got to be involved historically in this. But then how does the assassin lore and mythology fit into their world? And the reality is it doesn't really. It's never been addressed before. It, it won't make a lot of sense. So that's my biggest concern lore-wise. But then it shouldn't be because the lore doesn't really exist anymore. And Odyssey took very good care of that and buried all previous lore of Assassin's Creed dead deep, cold, and in the ground, so I really shouldn't even be concerned about this, but the reality is, this is Ashraf's team making this game, Darby McDevitt is involved uh, in the narrative direction for this, so um, they at least, they know the world of Assassin's Creed, so um, I do have a level of expectations of what those guys and their team can do, um, so I'm hoping that they reach a new level uh, and and make push Odyssey just down. They last Jedi that shit. Like, just fuck off. Um, but I, you, I don't get a lot out of this. I don't get a lot out of this other than I already know the period, right? Like, when the, war, the um, Viking vs. Anglo-Saxon War is. Uh, which is when this is set, so between the late 700s, 790s, I believe the first Viking raid on England was, and then uh, I believe the war ended when the last Viking army was defeated in like 910, 920 AD, so it's like a 130 year period this went on, this war, so it'll be mostly set during the 9th century. Already knew that though. You know, Vikings versus Anglo-Saxons, and you're playing a Viking leader, but some may have a connection um, to the Assassins. So what's to say at the end? It has a tagline, live, think, fight, conquer like a Viking. Hashtag like a Viking. How about like a fucking Assassin, though? You know what I mean? How about like an Assassin in Assassin's Creed, though? But we don't know what Assassins are anymore, do we? No one knows. No one seems to have any fucking clue. What I'm going to do is, I'm sure there's lots of info that pop up out of this. Let's let's get some idea of this. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, modern protagonist confirmed. So this is from Ashraf Ishmael. We do continue the present day journey and continue Layla's journey as well. We have some surprising, unexpected content for our players who love that kind of stuff. But we'll save that for, for later down the road. But players can expect something surprising some surprising content within that frame. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. Just stop. Just stop. We used to want one day. We don't anymore. It's fucking destroyed now. Just stop. It's over. It's done. It's finished. It's dead. Like, no. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, well, there's a bunch of other information too. Narrative director Darby McDevitt, which again is great, recently touched on how Valhalla's story will fit within Origins Odyssey's framework. Okay. As far as Valhalla's story goes, we do continue the story that began in Origins and continued in Odyssey. We take that and we build on it in a big way. We also did a lot of things about how to connect all the games, at least the lore of all the games. To make it feel like everything we've done over the past dozen games has little feelers and little entry points into this game. Even if you're a hardcore fan of the series and you just start digging below the surface, you might take a year to really get all the small details we brought to life. 
I like that. And this is why I am so happy Darby's back as narrative director because no one knows Assassin's Creed better than this man. No one understands the lore and background of real Assassin's Creed. Not this, not the shit we've been getting recently of real Assassin's Creed better than this man. So, it's good. That's good. He, he continues. We try to do it so it's not in a cheap way. It's not an Easter egg or small note in the corner of the map that says, Edward, Ed, Edward will soon be here. We try to design the world and the narrative so that everything connects. People who get all the way through Valhalla, they 100% this game. They'll have to take a few weeks to soak in the amount of detail we put into this one. So, it's not only the continuation of the Odyssey storyline, it's a real good capper for what has come so far. I'm sure narratively, he's right. Um, and I'm, I assume they're probably talking about modern day. Uh, Darby's talking about modern day as well. Now, the Origins Modern Day was uh, nothing, whatever, but it was there, and I guess I was like, I guess it's an introduction, but I wasn't interested. And then Odyssey was like, you're not interested? Well, how about we make you even less so with more content in it? And I'm like, wow. I couldn't imagine that would be possible, but okay. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I have z literally no interest in ever seeing Layla Hassan ever again. Um, I would rather bash my head against a wall. But it's the reality is that's what's going to happen. I got to accept it, and that's fine. So here we go, and and I'm sure it. I can I can confirm it won't be worse than Odyssey because it's Darby and Ashraf. I can confirm it can't be worse than anything Ubisoft Quebec come out with because all Ubisoft Quebec come out with is rubbish, um, and I can confirm that. Um, that's objectively true as well, by the way. It's not an opinion. That's objectively true. Um, uh, Darby also said. I don't want to give the impression it's the last game. That's something I want to avoid. But it's a good uh, summation. Uh, so this could be like the final game in a trilogy. The official description of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is Driven from Norway by endless wars and dwindling resources in the 9th century AD, players will lead Ivor's clan of Norsemen across the icy North Sea to the rich lands of England's broken kingdoms. Players can carve out a new future for their clan, reliving the ruthless fighting style of Viking warriors with a revamping combat system that includes the ability to dual-wield weapons against a greater variety of enemies than ever before. To secure resources, players can lead raids into select locations using longships to earn much-needed riches and supplies. So they've got the naval gameplay, obviously, in there. Um, fortress and battle components to it. So it sounds like a Viking game. Uh, not an Assassin's Creed game. Haven't heard anything about Assassins yet. I like literally not a fucking mention of Assassins. It's just a they've picked. It's a history game now. It's just a game where it's in the same universe and they pick a bunch of different historical locations. That's all it is now. Can we just get rid of the Assassins Creed on it? I don't know why that's still on it. There's no assassin. Oh, he's got a hidden blade. Thanks. Where the fuck are the assassins in Assassin's Creed? How do I miss? I need to find all the information I can right now. That's out because I'm sure there's. They released trailer and then the, all these interviews come out and all these things come out. So I'm sure there's heaps and heaps um, of information. So Darby said both female and male choices are canon, but we're not going to spoil how we manage that trick until you play the game. Okay. I, again. I have no reason not to trust Ashraf and Darby. I have no reason to, and I refuse to to not trust them, uh, that they'll make the law fit and make the story they're making make sense. But what I'm saying is, where are the assassins in their game? I'm not saying their history Viking game won't fit the law. I bet it will. I bet they're going to make a great Viking game. In the same way I wanted, at the very least, a good ancient Greek RPG that they couldn't manage to do an Odyssey. At the very least, I want this to be a good Viking game. I like that, and I believe that Ash can lead a team to do that, and I believe Darby can write a story that does that with real good quest variety, real important RPG mechanics, where if there are choices, which they're going to be, I don't want them to be, but there's just going to be, I have to accept that. Can they actually have an impact, unlike Odyssey's? Odyssey's an example of how not to do a historical RPG, Let's this be 
a game that can do it. Because, again, this is the Montreal team that Ash is in charge of, and not Quebec. So it's actually possible for that to happen. I don't know if it'll happen, but it's at least possible. Uh, but, man, it's fucking tough, huh? It's fucking tough. So there's interviews with Darby. Okay, here's an important line of a Darby interview. Okay. So and so the, my least favorite part about Odyssey was the character. Uh, obviously, there's no cutscenes really at all. There's like three in the whole game, and the whole game looked like fucking garbage. Uh, but these characters had no personality to them whatsoever. I had no importance. Alexis and Cassandra both sucked ass uh, and were just literally empty husks that the player was supposed to play as. There needs to be a real character here. This quote here is about that. From Darby McDevitt. It was also very important for us to create a coherent personality. I always find there are two ways to go with a role-playing game where you get to have dialogue choices. You either get a blank slate and you create your character, which is one way of doing it. Your choices decide whether you're a wise, cracking character or a, sto- or a stoic. Or you have a distinct personality and your choices orbit in the spectrum of possible responses. Fucking exactly. Odyssey tried to fucking do both, which you can't do. It's retarded. They're like, no, the, we have certain characters that are canon, um, but they're empty husks, and you decide whether they do what they do, uh, even though they're set characters. And, you know, they could beat up a, a civilian one minute and then help an old lady the next minute. It doesn't matter. It's your fucking Odyssey. This is... There's two distinctions. You either create your character, and he's whoever you want them to be, or it's an actual distinct character, and all the choices orbit around that i.e. Commander Shepard in Mass Effect, i.e. Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher. Okay. Um, So they take the drama in different directions, but the character remains coherent. We opted for the latter. We really wanted a coherent personality that people can say, that is definitely Ivor. That is something that Ivor would say. We don't want players to have multiple different types of Ivor. That was a creative decision we made, and it worked out really well. If fucking thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's what I wanted to hear. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. Um, oh, thank God. All right, like I said, the trailer was whatever. It showed us the historical setting, but it didn't really do much for Assassin's Creed. And all I want is Assassin's. But I trust Darby, I trust Ash, so we'll just have to go with it. Hopefully we'll find out more information, but I've heard things, just looking through my Twitter feed, there's social stuff apparently in there, I'll have to look into that, that would be amazing to come back, we've got a coherent character, that's exciting, I like the historical location, I love, 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 love that Darby's back as narrative director for this game, he's an incredible writer, and he loves and knows Assassin's Creed, and I trust Ashraf Ishmael, so look... I'm excited for the game on just that level alone. Will it be better than Odyssey? I fucking guarantee it. Uh, and will it be about assassins? That's the real question. And that's all I really want from this game. So that'll un- might be my only disappointment if that doesn't come to fruition. Anyway, guys, that's my reaction to Assassin's Creed Valhalla's trailer and first set of information. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. And I'll see you all whenever I come back with that video, which who fucking knows, man. Bye.